Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Next month, Roger Federer's amazing 21-year run at the Australian Open comes to an end. It is the first time Roger won't play the AO since 1999. Now, he first said it's because he's not fully rehabbed from his latest knee surgery. But now we're learning there's other reasons he won't make the trip down under. The director of player relations, Andre Saw, told Ace Band Sports a big factor for Roger is the quarantine. If Roger travels to Australia, wife Mirka and their two sets of twins would be stuck in a hotel room for two weeks. And that's just something Mirka doesn't want to do, and who could blame her? Roger, of course, could go out and train and come back, but the family wouldn't have that freedom. Roger's other option would be to travel to Australia alone, something he never does. And the trip there would keep him away from his family for five weeks. And that's something Roger's not willing to do. He is a devoted dad and his family comes before his career at this point. The Australian Open is set to start coming up February 8th. It is a very special place for Roger. He's a six-time champ and in fact won his last Grand Slam title at the Australian Open back in 2018. Also, Roger and Mirka's love story started at the 2000 Sydney Olympics when they shared their first kiss and became a couple while they were representing Switzerland. Roger is, though, looking ahead to the rest of the calendar. According to his longtime manager, Tony Godsick, they are targeting a possible comeback in late February or early March. Whenever it happens, we can't wait to see Roger back on court. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.